guys so welcome back to again in the multimedia learning solution channel and here you will learn something different from me okay so i'll show you today the cinema 4d uh, fracture okay uh, voronoi fracture this is the solver which you get uh, inside houdini also all right and you will find some different plugins for this so here you will find the same plugin which is here this is available by default you will find inside this option which is called the Voronoi fracture right so simply i get this uh, object from uh, directly my drive and uh, this is the geometry hat right and uh, just i want to increase the centimeter uh, to four centimeter and say yes okay so this is the my object and this object is going to be fractured over here so simply how it's work i'll show you the in a simple way simply just uh, this is the head right uh, i'm just going to mention the name first right and uh, select the solver or the mograph uh, thing okay from here i'm just going to select this which is the voronoi fracture now select the head and drag over this voronoi fracture right once you select this voronoi and converts automatically in color so like you would like to change or you would like to adjust something from here so go to in the object property from here you can select the colorize option you do not want to change the colors or you want do not want to go for the color like this so you can just enable or disable the colorize fragment okay and uh, from here just i want to go for uh, this actually uh, see here in the source panel there you will find uh, this option which is called the point generator here you can see you can uh, like check how many points are uh, here so you can find from this option which is called the point amount and uh, you would like to add some more points inside that simply you have to increase this right like this way and uh, <clears throat> like just say 50 points i want or like any other points you want to add just simply uh, say 100 okay so now it's become like this and uh, very small pieces you want simply you have to increase and this is the seats so from here you can increase the number of like actually seats is not going to increase the number of points simply you can like randomly work okay randomly you can change the uh, like value of the points uh, means randomly you can change the position of that so this is in high quality render okay so this is by default is uh, not you will find this high quality option but you have to enable so uh, go to here and uh, just uh, in the object mode you can offset decide the for uh, fragmentation option so from here i would like to change like this way so like this you can go okay so this is the points and uh, this is the option uh, or like you would like to change it to invert like this way you can work so from here like uh, you would like to change again uh, the source points from here if i say 200 this is going to work like this okay so it's work randomly okay so this is the option which you can uh, change or like else i want to uh, go for this option so i can uh, use the offset fragment like you want to go for the offset fragment you can but i'm just going to keep this set to zero right but uh, for uh, the fragmentation or like uh, explode you want to uh, add simply you have to work with tags okay so from here you will find the simulation tags and here uh, i use this option which is called the rigid body all right and uh, in uh, the floor i'll just keep this as a planar okay so this planar will be uh, this go to here in that again simulation tag and use this option which is called the collider body and uh, i used this here as like uh, active 
dynamic okay and just check the animation like this right so this is the way where you can work and uh, if I have added this you can play with uh, like all the more properties with uh, these options I'll show you in the next video so for the today thank you very much and uh, just do practice uh, keep watching videos okay if you are new just subscribe thank you guys bye bye